Hey everyone, welcome to a recap of the mid-journey office hours from February 8th. David started off by mentioning the wider aspect ratios they released last week. Now you can use basically any aspect ratio you can think of, but the whole service shifts when you change it. They try to make things better overall, but some edge cases can get worse when they change up the algorithm. There will also be some more small updates coming to Niji Journey. There are some bugs that need to be fixed. He said something interesting about comparing a new version versus an old version. He said that if you train the same model twice, it'll come out differently. That's pretty fascinating. So it's hard to control for variations. He went on to say that things are going to constantly change. So he advises not to get attached to anything specific like a style or an output. It's not guaranteed to always be available as they move forward. David said that the team isn't sure if they can make the current stuff better. They have a version of tiling, but they're not happy with it. So they might go full effort into version 5. They have early models and they look promising. Gonna be higher resolution, clearer images, and he said that version 4 just isn't as sharp as it should be, and they don't know why. Version 5 doesn't seem to have that bug. It gets more details right, and to be honest, they're looking at version 5, a version 6, and a version 7. Consistent releases that can improve more quickly rather than trying to fill each version with all the features they can possibly handle. Although, they are not far enough to find the unexpected problems that will come with version 5. He said that initial images look good, but it's not inside the bot yet, so they can't explore it completely and find all the edge cases. Version 5 could come quickly, but if they find problems, they don't know how long it will take to solve. We might see it in two weeks or maybe in a month and a half. They're not going to share any images ahead of time, but when the time is right, they will encourage and ask for ratings, and they will unveil their new rating system. He did want to temper expectations though, because this technology is beyond anything that has existed so far, so there are no guarantees when it comes to actual release windows. David then talked about how they might try handling resolution differently in the future. They might put different upscalers into different price plans, which I think just means raw pixel count, not actually a difference in the image manipulation, but I don't know, he was just spitballing, letting us know what the team is thinking about. Because these new upscalers are going to be expensive, and it's just their thoughts on how they can make it feasible. And because the upscalers cost a lot of GPU minutes, he's afraid that people in the $10 tier will just burn through their minutes using the upscaler. And to be even more honest, he doesn't even know what the new upscalers will look like, so he doesn't know if everyone will absolutely need to use it, or if it will just be kind of a bonus. It's tough to think about. The tech is expensive to run, and the company has a big focus on making it accessible. Again, don't take any of that as declarations, it's just what their team is thinking about. As far as the Midjourney magazine goes, international shipping is too expensive to make it free for everyone. They're thinking about making the first issue free, then people will have to pay the shipping costs after that. He said he doesn't want a digital magazine, you can already access a bunch of these pictures on the website. He enjoys the physical object aspect of it all, and creating physical things, manifesting, for people to share is important to them. He then quickly mentioned that they're still working on the website. A very fast search is coming soon. Still working on in painting, out painting, and a zoom out feature. They're trying to hire more people, but there's just a quick recap of the mid journey office hours. I hope you're doing well. Take care, and I'll see you next time.